hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, I decided to run away from my family. Mackenzie, don't you think you've been at that long enough? How about you put down the magazine and have some breakfast? I can't put it down long. Do you know what this is? It's the news issue. For all winter clothes, this season is gonna be lit. You don't say. Tell me more. I'm telling you, this magazine is gonna be your one-stop shopping for all of Christmas. You should be really thanking me because I am making your life much easier. I'm sorry, what makes you think you'll be getting everything in that magazine? Because it's Christmas and I'm on the nice list. I've been a very good girl this year. So basically, all of the above. Hmm, the nice list, huh? Didn't you forget to take out the trash twice last week? So, Santa is a very kind and forgiving soul. Then you should be giving Santa that magazine. You know, honey, we don't have the money to buy you everything you want in there. But, but it's Christmas. That doesn't mean we make more money. It would be cool if we did, though. We'll buy you a couple of presents, but not everything. Look, if you want some extra spending money, you're old enough to get a job after school. Wait, really? You think I could get a job? Sure, you're in middle school now. I don't see why not. Me, as a working girl, I like it. I can make so many more new friends. I'll make some more money and become a little bit more independent. Mom, I think this was your best idea yet. Maybe you want to buy me something from that catalog. Yeah, I'd love to, but any extra money is going to go towards Sky's Christmas present. I can't wait to tell Sky that I'm getting a job. This is going to make me so much more grown up. Be careful. Being an adult comes with its own challenges. Your father's right. Even if you're working, you're still only a child in middle school. Don't worry, Mom. What do you think? I'm going to start making money and then suddenly start doing my own taxes? Everything will be fine. One hour later. Carly, what are you doing out? I thought you were busy because you said you couldn't play Roblox today. What's up? I am busy. Oh, yeah? Then why are you walking towards the grocery store? I swear, Kenzie, if you know something about Girl Scout cookies being released early and you didn't tell me... No, you know I would never hide cookie news from you. My parents said I could get a job to help pay for some of the stuff that I want for Christmas. And apparently the grocery store is one of the only places you can work at in middle school. Whoa, really? Does that mean you're going to get everything in that awesome catalog? Yes, I can't wait. I think having a job is going to make me feel a lot more grown up. I mean, I'll have my own money, which clearly means my own independence. That is going to be so cool, girly. Think about all the neat things we could do once you have money. Hold on. How come you just automatically assume that I'm going to be paying for you too? Guys, we're besties. Isn't that part of the deal? Yeah, I guess so. All right, Sky, this is it. Wish me good luck. Good luck, girly. You are going to kill it. Moments later. I got it. I got it. Ah! Oh, it's you. Sorry, I thought it was an intruder. No, no, but guess what I got? I got the job. You are officially looking at the new bag girl at the grocery store. Wow, congratulations, honey. That is wonderful. It is, right? There's just one slight teensy-weensy problem. Uh-oh, what is it, Spell? Okay, so because I have to go to school during the day, and no, don't worry, I'm not going to drop out. You're darn right you're not. So that means the only time that I can work is at night, which I totally don't mind doing. But it just means that I'm going to be getting home pretty late. How late? Just like two hours past my curfew. Hmm, well, I guess it's okay because it's for work and you came and asked us about it first. Really? Really? So I can do it? You guys are the best. Hold that thought. It's okay as long as you come right home after work. No going out that late at night. As soon as you're done, you are to come right home. No exceptions. Of course. Yeah, no problem. And your schoolwork needs to come first, Mackenzie. If your grades start slipping, you're gonna need to give up the job. Sure thing. I was gonna say that myself. So, guys, can I do it? Several days later. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I can barely keep my eyes open anymore. Why do we have to stay open later than Starbucks? I could seriously use a pick-me-up. Okay, seriously, if I have to scan one more item, my fingers are gonna fall off. It's not gonna be pretty. Hey, Mackenzie, how's it going? Well, besides the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm sleeping while standing up, and I didn't realize how many paper cuts you can get from paper bags. You'll get used to that. You just need to toughen your hands up. Anyways, me and some of the other guys are gonna go hit the club once we're done. There is no better way to unwind after a long day than dancing. Are you in? Uh, you know, I'd love to, but I am pretty tired. And besides, I've got a curfew. I can barely make it home on time with work anyways, but, uh, maybe next time. Oh, come on, Mackenzie. We're just getting to know you and we're never gonna hang out. You should come with us. Trust me, blowing off steam after work is the best way to bond with your co-worker. I mean, I guess dancing would be fun and who knows? Maybe it would wake me up a little too. How long are you guys planning on staying out? Not late. I promise. Come on, it'll be so much fun. Well, I guess. Why not? I mean, it couldn't hurt. Many hours later. Hey, uh, what time is it? I 
don't know. Does it matter? Eh, I guess not. Meanwhile. Ugh, my feet hurt from all the dancing, but he was right. Blowing off steam is just what I needed. Do you have any idea what time it is, young lady? Huh? Sorry, my ears are still ringing a little bit. No, what time is it? It's 3 a.m. Hours past your curfew. You are in big trouble, little missy. Big trouble. Where on earth have you been? Your father and I have been up half of the night worried sick. We didn't know if you were dead in a ditch somewhere. What, what are you talking about? Why would I be dead in a ditch? I just went out with some of my coworkers. Oh, is that what you were doing? You think you're so grown up now that you have a job, so you think it's okay to go gallivanting around after work? Mom, really, it's fine. I just went out with some friends from work. It's no big deal. Oh, it is a big deal deal when we don't know where you are. That's it. No more working at that job for you. It's clear you can't handle the responsibility. What? You can't be serious. You can't just expect me to quit my job. All because I went out a little late? All my coworkers are going to think I'm a little kid. You are a little kid. You're only in middle school. And not only do you have to quit your job, but you are grounded. Double grounded. But you can't do that. I just did. But you can't. Even if you say so, it's not like I'm going to do what you say. I'm a grown-up now and I have a job. I don't need to listen to you. You may have a job, but that doesn't mean you're a grown-up. As long as you're living under our roof, you have to live by our rules. But the rules are unfair. Hey, I live with them and I'm just fine. Well, maybe I don't want to live under your roof anymore. Where else are you going to go? I don't know. Anywhere but here. A few moments later. Burley, what are you doing here? It's like 4 a.m. Sorry to wake you up. Were you sleeping? Is that why your hair is a mess? My hair is a mess because it's 4 a.m. Dreaming. I was riding on the back of a unicorn. What is going on? I ran away from home and I need some place to stay. I'm sorry. You're gonna need to back up like a lot of steps. You did what? It's not my fault. My parents were being totally unfair. I'm an adult with a job now. It's not like I have to live by their rules. Well, I guess being in middle school makes you somewhat of an adult. Kind of. Oh, is it okay if I move in with you? Sure thing, girly. My brother's away at school, so my house smells a lot better. Come on up to my room. Me room? Room. Sorry if that's wrong, by the way. I've only been in Spanish class for like a month. The next morning. Ah, good morning, Sky. Boy, this is pretty nice. I never thought about how convenient it was for us to live together. Kind of just like cutting out the middleman. Yeah, it's nice, girly, but uh, you snore. <gasps> I do not. You do? I had to sleep with my head under a pillow. Well, anyways, I appreciate you letting me crash here. Anytime, girly. It's your house too now. Up and at him, sleepyhead. Whoa, Mackenzie, uh, what are you doing here? Sky, did you smuggle your best friend in your room? Well, kind of, but it was late, so I figured you wouldn't want me to wake you up. You figured right. Mackenzie, what are you doing here? Oh, no big deal. I live here now. I had a falling out with my parents. You know, adult things. I see. Well, you know how much I love you. Oh, I love you too, Mrs. Sky's mom, lady ma'am. Yes, uh, I love you, but you can't live here. Oh, well, this is awkward considering I already unpacked all my stuff. I'm really sorry, honey. If I know your parents, though, and I do, they're worried sick about you and want you to come home. Yeah, I guess so. So, what are you gonna do, girly? Don't worry about me. I've got a plan. Moments later. Okay, well, I guess this is my new home. Technically, not under my parents' roof. See, I don't need them. All I need to do is put some sheets on the ground for the bed, and there you go. Home sweet home, and they think I won't last. <laughs> later that same evening. Ugh, I didn't know there was a leak in here, so I guess that's new, but it's okay. Nothing that I can't power through. Ah, okay, uh, that's it. Okay, that's it. Careful, Kenzie, you can't make too much noise. You do not want to wake your parents up and prove them right. Perfect, I'm almost in my comfy bed. Mom, Dad, what are you doing in here? Well, let's just say we knew you'd come home sooner or later. Sky's mom called us. Nice touch, by the way, sleeping in the garage. Wait, you were keeping tabs on me? Of course we were. Just because we got in a fight doesn't mean we stopped caring about you. You're also not the first kid to run away from home. When I was your age, I slept in a tent in the backyard after running away from my family. Wow, I guess it seems pretty dumb now, huh? Look, I'm really sorry for everything. For staying out late, for not calling, and then for giving you guys a hard time. Maybe I'm not ready to be a grown-up yet. You know, honey, there's nothing wrong with being a kid when you still can. Someday you'll look back and wish the years hadn't gone by so fast. I guess so. Having a job was cool, but I wasn't getting to spend enough time with Sky anymore. I really don't want to work nights anymore. Well, I for one am happy to hear that. So, can I move back in, or are we gonna renovate the garage? <laughs>